All right, welcome back. So today we're gonna to work with the surface area and volume of spheres, our last section in unit 10. What is a sphere? It's a set of all points in space equidistant from a given point called the center. What's a radius? A segment that has one endpoint at the center and the other endpoint on the sphere. And a diameter is a segment passing through the center with endpoints on the sphere. So if you think about it, we have our uh, position right here our radius, if I took this the same length and just kind of wrapped it and, and sent it around all different you know directions it would form this sphere all right a ball type figure all right a sphere and all those radii are the same length and so the di the the figure that that is made up is called a sphere and a diameter obviously is like a diameter of a circle. Now we're just talking about spheres. All right, so what is the surface area of a sphere? The surface area of a sphere, huh? I wonder how, how in the world are we gonna be able to remember what the surface area of a sphere is? Oh, I found this little clip I think will help remind you. What is the area of a sphere? Four pi r squared. What is the area of a sphere? Four pi r squared. What is the area of a sphere? Four pi r squared. Four pi r four pi. <laughs> Again, four pi four pi r squared r squared four pi r squared. A sphere. So I know those girls are a little bit crazy, but the surface area of a sphere is four pi r squared, right? And they're a little British too. And so you should be able to remember that. That's that SpongeBob tune. So let's take a look at the surface area. 4 pi r squared. What is r? r is going to be 5. All right. So 5 squared is 25. 4 times 25 is going to give us 100 pi meters squared. And remember, we're squared because we are in the, uh, we're using area, which is always squared units. Let's take a look at this. The circumference of a basketball is 29.5. All right. What is the amount of leather needed to make the basketball? Well, that's surface area. This is circumference. So let's see. Our circumference formula is 2 pi r. And our surface area formula is 4 pi r squared. All right. All right. So if we take a look at this, 29.5 goes into our circumference equals 2 pi r. See, the only thing I need is an r. And I can get my r from using this formula. How do I get r by itself? I'm going to divide by 2 pi. So r equals 29.5 divided by 2 pi. Now, some of you are going to want to multiply that right now and divide, but you, then you'll get an uh, approximation. We don't want to get an approximation and use an approximation again, because then it's going to further approximate it and kind of skew the data. What I want to use is that again. So let's plug it into 4 pi r squared. So 4 pi, plug in my radius is 29.5, divided by 2 pi, and square it. Now if you're putting this in your calculator, it's going to look like this. 4 pi, parentheses, 29.5, divided by, now you need to group this stuff, or else it will come out wrong, squared, all right? And when you do all those calculations right up to the end, if you just hit enter, you should get um, 277.0 inches squared. All right. So the amount of leather needed for one basketball, 277 inches squared. So let's talk about volume. Volume, how much can fill this sphere? The formula is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now, the four thirds. The third should make you think we're doing something to do with what? Pyramids. And in fact, if you look up how to prove the formula of a sphere, they're going to give you pyramids, all right? So pyramids is part of the reasons why this works out. So let's find the volume. Four thirds pi r, the, radio, the dis, uh, diameter is 15, so the radius is 7.5 to the third. So 4 thirds pi times uh, 7.5 to the third is 421.875. All right, 
Multiply that by four thirds and you get 562.5 pi inches cubed. Remember volume, cubic units. Area, squared units. All right. So let's take a look at this. Let's find the surface area and the volume in terms of pi and run it to the nearest tenth. So uh, the first one is going to be the surface area and we know the formula for that is 4 pi r squared. All right, volume we're going to find to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. So 4 pi times my radius is 9 squared. 9 squared is 81. Uh, so now I have 4 pi times 81, not a squared anymore. All right, 4 times 81 is 324 pi. All right, and that's meters squared. Now if we want, and we do, we, we have the exact answer in terms of pi. And now we also want the rounded answer to the nearest tenth. So I put 324 pi into my calculator, and I get 1,017.9 meters squared. So I have exact, and I have rounded. Let's go over here. 4 thirds pi. Now r to the third, that's 9 to the third. All right, 9 to the third is 729. So 4 thirds pi times 729. 4 thirds times 729 is 972. All right, 972 pi. So that again, that is our uh, exact answer. But if we want to round it to the nearest tenth, we should get 3,053.6 cubic meters. So we have our rounded, we have our exact. All right. All right, the surface area of a sphere is, find the volume. So surface area, what's our formula for that again? Four pi r squared. All right, so plug in, what do I know? Surface area, 36 pi equals four pi r squared. What's the only thing I can really solve for here? I know 36, I know pi, I know four, I know pi r squared. And if I know my r, I can plug it into my volume formula, which is four thirds pi r cubed. So, opposite of multiply by 4 pi, divide by 4 pi. So that gives me 9 pi equals r squared. Oh, excuse me, the pi's cancel out. That gives me 9. Take the square root of both sides, and I get my radius is 3. Now I just have to plug it in. 4 thirds pi times 3 to the third. 3 to the third is 27 times 4 thirds pi. 27 times 4 thirds pi is 36 pi uh, centimeters cubed. And that's what we're looking for. So a lot of two-step problems. Use the, use the formula they give me to find what else I want. All right? Nice. The algebra is playing a quick game of dodgeball when Mr. Kelly got knocked out. Boom because he was too busy trying to find the volume of one dodgeball. He found the surface area of the dodgeball to be 64 pi inches before he was knocked out. What is the volume? So we know the surface area. 4 pi r squared. All right, plug it in. 64 pi equals 4 pi r squared. Divide by 4 pi so we can get our radius by itself. r squared equals 16. So our radius is... 4. All right, plug that into our formula. 4 thirds pi r cubed. 4 thirds pi r cubed. What do we got? 4 to the third. What is 4 to the third? 4 to the third is 64. 64 times 4 is 256 pi divided by 3. All right, so that'd be inches cubed. Does that help you out at all? And maybe this is a situation, it's a real world situation, so let's get an approximation. Multiply that out and we should get um, 268.1 inches cubed. All right. 
So I want you to find the surface area and the volume of the following sphere. Let's leave it in terms of pi. So uh, simplified fraction. All right, so stop the video, pause it, try it. All right, so let's see what we got. So surface area first, which is 4 pi r squared. All right, surface area. So we know um, the radius. If the diameter is 5.2, the radius is 2.6. So 2.6 squared. 2.6 squared is 6.76. 4 times 6.76 is 27.04 pi kilometers squared. Never in my life have I seen a sphere with a diameter of 5.2 kilometers. So, you got that going for you. Let's try to find the volume. 4 thirds pi r cubed. 4 thirds pi r is 2.6 to the third. Alright, 2.6 to the third is 17 point five seven six times four thirds pi four times that or four thirds times that math frack it baby there you have it all right there you have it and remember uh if you can't dodge a wrench you definitely can't dodge a ball till next time Peace, I'm out of here. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh. 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 <laughs> Any other questions?